diffusion plate. For this experiment, you will need two 2% 2 agar plates, a 5 mil pipette, a pipette bulb, potassium ferrocyanide, potassium bromide, silver nitrate, sodium chloride, malachite green, potassium permanganate, toothpicks, cotton applicators, gloves and safety goggles. To start this experiment, obtain an agar plate containing 2% agar. Label the plate so you'll be able to keep track of which hole has what solution. You will need to make four holes in the plate. To easily and accurately place the holes, you can set the plate on a plastic lid with a dot in the middle and a ring around it. The center hole goes at the dot and the other three can be placed roughly equidistant around the ring. By using the pipette tip and applying suction, you can easily remove the cutout pieces of the agar, leaving behind the hole. Carefully place a drop or two of one molar silver nitrate in the center hole in the agar. You can fill the hole, just be careful not to overflow it. Next, add the potassium ferrocyanide, add potassium bromide in the same manner. And finally, the sodium chloride. Place your plate in the designated area. When each of these three diffusion compounds collides with the diffusion silver nitrate, a precipitate is formed. This diffusion takes a while. It may not react by the time the lab is done. If this is the case, come back and check it over the next few days. When you are finished with your plate, place it in the labeled bin under the hood. Obtain a second 2% agar plate. Mark the back of the plate with two dots about five centimeters apart. Label one dot potassium permanganate and the other malachite green. Using a cotton applicator, carefully remove a few crystals of each of the chemicals from the stock bottles with a toothpick and place them on the dots. Be sure to place the solid compounds on the correct coordinated dot. When you are finished, place your plate in the designated area and be sure to keep it upright so the crystals will not move around. The chemicals will begin to diffuse in the agar and create a halo of color. The diffusion can take a few days so make sure to come back and observe the halo created by the compounds. Measure the radii or diameters of the halos after 24 or 48 hours.